Good evening, this is Eric Conti, Superintendent of Schools. This is our weekly update for Thursday, September 2nd. We're excited to have completed our first four days of the new school year. It's great to see our schools and classrooms filled with students and staff. We know that things are not exactly as we would choose to have them with the concerns about COVID still at the front of our minds, but we wanna thank students, staff, and families for their flexibility and cooperation in helping us through our first four days of school. We appreciate everyone's cooperation with the mask mandate that is in place, and we look forward to continued collaboration moving forward so that we can continue to do everything possible to keep, to keep students and staff safe and in school. In regards to our COVID protocols, as we mentioned last week, the home health screening checklist has not changed from last year, and it can be found with our other COVID-19 resources and information on our district website, burlingtonpublicschools.org, and that's under the district tab. We are getting some questions about the testing waivers that we are sending home from CIC Health, which is handling the COVID testing options that have been set up by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. We understand that the waivers include pool testing, test and stay testing, and symptomatic testing. Unfortunately, CIC and the state do not allow districts to modify these waivers. However, we are letting you know that we have only agreed to begin planning for test and stay testing at this time. This would allow students who are designated as close contacts from an in-school contact with a positive COVID case to stay in school if they test negative. This test would need to be given daily for seven days following a close contact. We are also considering symptomatic testing and we will let you know if we move forward with that as well. The bottom line is that we have not received any tests and will not have test and stay in place for a few weeks. But if you're interested in having test and stay in place for your student, please return the waiver that went home from your student's school as soon as possible. If you have any questions about this or any of our protocols, please drop us an email at covidconcerns at bpsk12.org. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, bus concerns. We are aware and monitoring all of the bus routes and stop concerns that we've received. As we stated last week, we need to look at them as a whole so that we do not fix one thing and cause three other issues. As many of you personally experience, it is taking us longer to get across town. We are studying whether there are structural issues with the three-tiered system and the time allotted between each tier. And just as a reminder, Tier 1 is our middle school, and that uses all 18 of our buses. Tier 2, all 18 buses are divided between Pine Glen, Fox Hill, and Memorial. In Tier 3, the 18 buses are divided between the high school and Francis Wyman. In other words, full solutions to some bus routes may require adjustments and start and end times to the school day. We are working with our bus company and the state Safe Routes to School program to determine if the challenges are attributed to getting used to full bus runs after 18 months or if the challenges are more structural. Thank you for your patience as we work on addressing transportation issues. Again, thank you for your attention this evening. Please enjoy Labor Day weekend.